during new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Waxing crescents, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with the full shadow new moon. The moon shadow moves from west to east. The moon shadow moves from west to east. Seventh of Shaban, six oh seven, first quarter. I can feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. I 
never doubted you, my son. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us, too. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Louis, you really must learn to conceal your weaknesses better. If you don't want your foes to use them against you. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet, they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. But where are we? I don't know, but we better not hang around. Be careful, Mother. As if me saying that will make any difference. Knowing Mortimer, I wouldn't be surprised if he rigged his crypt with traps. So you think the door is not enough? Do you want to wager your other hand? You've got a point there. We have to find that weapon. What do you know about the Holy Lance, Louis? The what? The Lance of Longinus the Centurion. Oh, that? That's what we come to find? The Lance that a Centurion stuck in the side of Christ at his crucifixion? That's it. Seriously? You don't really believe that fable, do you? Every fable is founded on true events. I'm not saying that everything adds up, but imagine if it really did exist. Very well. Now what? Well, now you know what you need to find. Pardon? I have to get to the wharf to prepare our departure. Let's get off this cursed island as quickly as we can. We shall come back when we are ready and armed. But hang on. Louis, let's first get to safety. We shall come back when we have the upper hand. Fear not. You take care of getting the lance. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. Hang on. At least tell me everything you know about this lance. But I have never seen it. There's nothing else I can say, Louis. Well, you can always go snooping around Mortimer's study. I remember seeing paintings of Longinus there. All right, we'll do it your way. One more thing. If they find you in possession of the lance, they won't let you get away with it. Choose only one and hide it under your jacket so you don't get caught with it. Then run and meet me on the wharf. And if I get caught? If they catch you in possession of the lance, we're 
all doomed. Do you understand? Perfectly. Good. And go talk to Piaggi. He's the one who probably knows the most about this. Your Eminence, would you have a moment to spare? Not now, Louis. Please, leave me alone. I beg your pardon? I want to be alone. Very well. I, I'm only searching for information about the Lance of Longinus, the soldier. If you, you could... You're not listening to me. You are playing with fire. I heard you speak to Mr. Von Volner about it, and I was wondering if you could tell me something about it. That was a private conversation. How could I have known that he was listening to us? Hmm. I see what you mean. Louis, don't push it. Leave while you still can. Your Eminence, are you all right? Your Eminence, are you with me? Can you turn around, please? What do you want to know about the Holy Lands, Louis? Your Eminence, turn around. This is the weapon used by a Roman centurion on the very day Christ was nailed to the cross. Look at me. Longinus thrust his lance in the right side of Jesus. Please. As you wish. His nose is bleeding. So you are looking for the holy lands of Longinus, are you? No, no, I I was wondering about it myself. Oh, Louis. It's even worse than I thought. I believe you when you say you only come to find out more. But in that case, it means that Sarah didn't even tell you the point of it all. Because, believe me, you are looking for it. You are looking for the lands. You should know you are not the only one. Lord Mortimer has spent a good part of his life and his fortune trying to find it. Never. Will he let you have it? But tell me, before going any further, have you spoken to anyone else about this? No, no, Your Eminence. I thought you'd be the only one able to help me with it. Your words lack conviction, Louis. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good. You have no reason to lie to me. Imagine you find it, which I don't doubt and how resolute you are when you've got something on your mind. Then what? What are you going to use the lance for, exactly? If I told you why I needed this lance, you would never believe it. Trust me, you can tell me anything. It's our only chance to vanquish the demons. Oh, my dear God. Louis, you sound just like Sarah. Do you realize you are following the same path, step by step? Sarah also started by imagining things. She too spoke of demons, I am told. She could no longer speak to anyone, and saw a hidden monster in every guest, lurking in the shadows, ready to devour her. You must let us help you. Louis, I thank you for your sincerity. I shall answer you about Longinus. You deserve to be told. His spear-headed lance did indeed pierce the side of the Messiah. His blood gushed out, covering the head of the lance. It was covered in the blood of Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Your Eminence. You are welcome. Be careful, Louis. 
You are on a perilous path. Don't follow Sarah's demons, my boy. Don't delve too deeply into her delusions, or you won't be able to come back. The demons that she is frantically trying to drive away are in her own mind. Take good care of yourself. God keep you. St. Longinus. Let's take a closer look at his lance. It is shaped like a leaf, like, like the real lance, maybe. How can I be sure? No, this is too easy. Mortimer's trying to throw me off the track again. It seems too visible to be true. Impossible not to see the statue on first glance, given its size. And Mortimer has no interest in making the shape of the true lance so easy to see. I think this statue does represent Longinus, armed with a lance that wounded Jesus. The Holy Lance. How can I find out if this is an exact representation? There's no way of being certain of it. Longinus is holding the holy lance in his left hand, and I'll bet he's holding the sponge soaked in holy blood in the other hand. Yes! Here we can see that the holy lance is represented in the shape of a spear. I'd better make sure I check this twice. It's, it's a work that dates from the Renaissance. And there's nothing to say that it's not based on erroneous elements. This work is an order from Lord Mortimer. All the details have been conceived with a specific goal in mind. Upon closer examination, you can see that even the style clashes with that of most of the other works in the manor. No, if Mortimer has taken special care as the conception and the exhibition of this painting in his study, in the same way as for the nightmare painting, it must be of some significance. And that is indeed the true shape of the Holy Lance, a spear shape. But. I believe what I read in the letter from Milan addressed to Mortimer. There's every reason to believe that this painting has been modified according to his guidelines to represent the true shape of the Holy Lance, a spear shape. There's only one way of being sure. I'll have to find other clues that will confirm this information. Adoration of the Shepherds with Saints Longinus and John, Giulio Romano, 1534. 